Mike Moore Media. I'm talking to Chris Phillips, Assistant City Manager in Reedsville, Finance Director. He's on the line now. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Hey, Mike, how are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, we're talking before we got started here. Uh, spring is in the air, and we get past this rainy day today, and it's going to be kind of a spring and summer-like by the weekend. Oh, yeah, you know, spring's just a, a great time of year. Everything seems like it comes back to life and yeah. uh, makes you want to get out and do some stuff. And there are plenty of uh, places to get out and do things uh, in Reedsville, for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, just coming and walking downtown, checking out the stores. There's actually a couple of new businesses downtown, Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of uh, bakery and uh, uh, deli. So come out and check out those stores and walk up and down the street. Um, You know, we just are finishing up our streetscape. The last piece was over on Settle Street, and uh, they just wrapped that up. Yeah, uh, that's uh, a project that uh, been going on for a while. But yeah, f- uh, finally, yeah, finally finishing it up. And isn't it wonderful? Uh, just in Reedsville, uh, let's see, a day before yesterday, and uh, and looking at uh, all the improvements. And I know you're getting a lot of positive comments too. And have uh, since this is all happening. Yeah, you know the city put some resources into to downtown, and and then you see the um, businesses doing the same. There's some new canopies up and some. It's amazing what a little bit of fresh paint can can do to a place. <laughs> That's looks, right. Looking great, and yeah. then you know if we get some flowers blooming, it's just going to be a really nice place to be. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about Lake Reedsville and things going on there. I know you've got uh, the Easter egg hunt uh, that was uh, moved from uh, last week to this week. Yeah, it, it did cause of the weather, so uh, Easter egg hunt. But you know, Lake Lake Reedsville is always uh, a picturesque place year-round. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, spring, obviously, and uh, summer, but fall and, and even winter is a nice place to go out to on a, on a nice day. But there's there's several miles of trails down at the lake. So, uh, you know, if you uh, are a hiking person or just want to get out and explore some, there's trails uh, just about every direction you look. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, so fortunate to have so many good trails in Rockingham County. And like you say, right there at Lake Reedsville, too. Okay. Yeah, well, and, you know, if, and if, if, if trails aren't your thing, uh, we have the greenways in town, too. Mm-hmm. They're a little, little bit easier since they're uh, paved paths. But uh, you, can, you can pick up our greenways. You can go to Cortland Park, or there's a parking lot on Sherwood Drive to pick up the greenway. And then uh, there's another one that starts at J.C. Park, and it starts over um, one of the headways. It's right there at the football stadium, the Regional Rams football stadium. You can pick up the trail there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, getting into that time of the year for sure that uh, we can get out and enjoy those trails. Um, yeah, yeah. Hey, I know you want to talk about uh, the Reedsville Rams. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we just mentioned them, I'd you know, like to give them a shout-out, congratulate them on the, the State 2A Basketball Championship uh, that they just won a, a couple of weeks ago. It was great, um, you know, to see them go out and get the, get the basketball and the football championship <laughs> in the same school year. Oh, wow, so, yeah. You know, we we may have to start calling Reasonable Title Town. Hey, that, uh, I like that. Doing that. That that sounds good. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, they've had, you know, the football team obviously has had a lot of success, but they've got a strong basketball program too. So mm-hmm. it was great to see both of them. They both finished second last year, and so this year the football and basketball team came in and and, and brought it home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, congratulations to everybody. Yeah, uh, winning winning teams all the way around. That's always exciting. Yeah. Now, you've got some events coming up. Uh, April is here, so uh, let's get those on our calendar. Okay. Yeah, there's a few things in April. You know, some of the things coming back to life. We're a little early for the farmer's market. It doesn't start till May, mm-hmm. and uh, the concert series uh, doesn't start uh, until uh, later in, in the summer as well, but but there are a few things. Uh, April 13th, look for this coming out, some details coming out soon. We're going to have our historical, historical preservation commission. We're going to do a downtown stroll one Saturday morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, and uh, those are usually ticketed events. They're free, but they do fill up. So if you see that come out, you might want to jump on it if you're interested. But a lot of, uh, a lot of history downtown and a lot of uh, you know, tidbits that those folks uh, will share. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, that's always interesting. Sure. And then uh, April twenty seventh, we got a 
uh, uh, double hitter of events that day. We actually have a shred day. So about twice a year, we'll offer a shred event. Uh, it's down behind City Hall, and they, they will go from 9 till noon on the 27th or until the truck's full. So if, if everybody shows up at 9 o'clock and fills up a whole truck, uh, they may not be here at noon. But, uh, you know, paper, uh, even though we're more of a paperless society than we used to be, mm-hmm. still folks have a lot of paper around and get those old tax forms since uh, – it's time to do a new tax return, get those old ones out and bring them in that morning and, and then uh, shred them there at the truck while you're waiting, and you'll know your stuff's been taken care of uh, properly. Sure. But also that day, I said it's a double hitter, uh, our uh, reasonable, uh, Human Relations Committee is actually sponsoring an event at Market Square from noon to four. It's the community event, and uh, they want all of Riesel, all of Team Riesel to come out for it. They're going to have bands and food vendors they'll have games they'll have door prizes just uh really uh kind of kicking off the the uh, spring and summer season with that event Mm -hmm. yeah i remember this from last year i believe um that that was well attended if i remember correctly yeah they try to bring uh, a variety of things just uh you know uh in 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 it's like a lot of things at market square the folks that are able to come out have a great time so if you uh, get the chance, you should come down and check out this community event. Mm-hmm. April 27th. Okay, got it. Yeah. And that, you know, the big news for us, though, is going to be May, uh, Memorial Day weekend. We're finally going to get our splash pad open. All right, finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while coming. Uh, but uh, if you've been down Scale Street recently, you can't miss it. It's uh, uh, got a lot of color. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, features on it, but it's just going to be great. Can't wait to have uh, the place full of kids cooling it off this summer. Yeah, yeah, and adults uh, probably, I would think. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. <laughs> so, Splash Pad opening Memorial Day weekend in Reedsville. Oh, it's budget yep, time. we got got to talk about the budget, I guess, haven't you? Well, mm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's the other thing about spring, at least for, <laughs> for us in, in uh, North Carolina municipals and uh, in, in, in counties. It's budget season, so we, we do run a July to June year, and so uh, by state statute, we have to have our budget ready to go uh, July 1st. So we, we actually will have a, a budget presentation at, at city council's May meeting. Mm-hmm. Uh, the manager will present them with the budget and hit the highlights uh, with them, and then in their June meeting is when they'll actually uh, adopt the budget. So between the May and June meeting, uh, we'll have a budget work session, session with council so they can dig into the numbers a little more. And um, uh, come June, they'll hopefully have a budget they can uh, get behind and, and adopt. Uh, so July 1, when the fiscal year starts, we'll be up and running. Yeah, okay. And uh, you play a, a big role in that as a finance director, too. Uh, yeah, um, the city manager is actually our budget officer, uh, but... Uh, of course, the, the finance department uh, does revenue projections and works with the uh, other departments to help them pull together numbers for their budget that the, the, is presented to the manager. And then um, I sit in with uh, the manager and our other assistant manager, uh, Haywood Cloud Jr., and uh, we, we sit in with the departments and discuss their needs and kind of brainstorm and, and, and pull it all together. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, every budget has challenges. And uh, this year's is, is no exception. This year's going to be extremely challenging because I think anybody listening knows uh, what the last couple of years have been with inflation. And just like at their home budget, the, the city's been hit pretty hard with higher prices uh, for just about everything we, we have to purchase. So mm-hmm. you see these prices going up, and, and it seems that they've leveled off a little, but I don't think things are going to come back down the way they went up. So. You've got higher costs, and uh, our revenue sources aren't growing as fast. So it, it makes for a tough process. Yeah, yeah, and it's revalu- revaluation time, too, so that figures into the picture. It is. So Rockingham County is going to have is the process of reval. I think they're going to be mailing out new uh, real estate values um, the first week of April. Mm-hmm. And so that's uh, an added layer to this year's budget for, for everybody, all the municipalities and the counties. 
uh, this year because you, you have to take those new values and factor that into your budget and your revenue and your tax rate. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, a lot of work goes into the, the uh, city budget, so uh, good luck to everybody with that and all the departments and uh, putting that together. Yeah, um, we, we'll, we'll work through it. We do each year and yeah. and uh, try to do the, you know, we, we keep up our, our, uh, our services to our citizens and uh, be fair to our employees and do the best we can to, to pull together a budget that's, uh, that's feasible uh, based on the amount of revenue we have. Yeah, okay. I see one more item on my calendar here, and it's a little way off here, but maybe make a note of this annual rabies clinic at Reedsville Police Department, Saturday, May 11th. That's right. 1130 to 1. So I just had that in front of me here. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll toss that yeah. out here, too. And, you know, that's, that's, in, that's important not to forget about the pets. Um, and <laughs> that's another thing, you know, around here, you never know what's lurking in your backyard. Uh, we saw a fox in ours yesterday. Oh, did you? Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a uh, gorgeous animal, but, you know, if you don't know what they're carrying, so it's, it's best to protect your pets and, and, and really protect your family, too. Yeah, sure. With, with okay. Yeah, well, we'll be hearing more about that. Uh, Rabies Clinic, May 11th, Reedsville Police Department, downtown. Okay. All right. Um, anything else we need to mention, Chris? No, just, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, again, spring is an exciting time. Uh, for me, I, I like fall a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you get through summer and, and those, those fall days are nice, but there's just something about spring that, uh, you know, makes you think about getting up and getting out. And, uh, we, uh, love for our folks to, to mill about and see what's going on and, and be a part of it. It's, um, uh, you know, usually, uh, Fun time is had by all when they, they <laughs> yeah. come out and participate. Sure, yeah, that's a good way to say it. All right. Well, Chris, good to talk to you. Um, I'll see you at the splash pad. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll see if we can get the wettest. All right. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Have a real Thanks. good uh, April coming up. Good luck with all the budget stuff. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, too. Bye. All right, our report today, update on what's happening around the city of Reedsville from Chris Phillips, Assistant City Manager, Finance Director. And uh, remind you, as always, uh, to find out more about what's happening, uh, you can go to riseupreedsville.com, riseupreedsville.com, and then the um, website is reedsvillenc.gov. Please shop our Reedsville businesses, shop local. That is very important. And that brings me right to our sponsors, Strader Shoe Store, with New Balance, Stride Right, SAS, Hoka, Alegria. Oh, my goodness. If I start mentioning names, they're about 75 probably. I'll never, I'll never, I don't have enough time. Uh, but all of the top names in footwear for all ages at Strader Shoe Store, Penrose Mall in Reedsville, New Spring, handbags and ladies' shoes and accessories, things like that, serving generations since 1933. Also, uh, I want to remind you that uh, Reedsville Chamber of Commerce has a special event coming up, their staff appreciation celebration at the new Penn House Event Center on Maple Avenue. They just had uh, the uh, ribbon cutting here earlier in the week and unveiling that uh, portrait of uh, Judy Yarborough, um, Penn House manager, former um, city marketing director, recently passed away. Uh, so the... Uh, Reedsville Chamber of Commerce Staff Appreciation Celebration, Penthouse Event Center, Maple Avenue, Wednesday, April 24th, 11 till 2. Thanks to Diane Sawyer and her team at the Reedsville Chamber of Commerce for their good week, uh, their good work. And uh, you can stop in and see them. They're right on the corner there on uh, South Scale Street and open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, other times during special events that's the reedsville chamber of commerce they do such good work um, for the city and that's our program for today for uh, the uh, city of reedsville and again thanks to chris phillips